Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Nona from TheAlignLover.com. Here is part two to my guide to the 12 seasonal color system series. In this video, we'll go over actual physical color dimensions as well as a look at the seasonal palettes. If you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. Just to refresh and give you the agenda and what we'll be discussing, we will be delving into the three color dimensions of hue, temperature, whether a color or overall palette is cool or warm, value, whether it's light or dark, and chroma, whether it is bright or muted. And before we get into the examples, let's just really dig into the idea of color harmony because it is the purpose of this color system and any color system. So the right colors will harmonize with your physical coloring and will act as an extension of those innate traits, kind of like the Kibbe system or the essence system. So to illustrate this point, try to imagine or appraise these two paintings in two different frames. We have a lovely Monet and a Mondrian over here, very different paintings. So ask yourself, which frame really enhances and acts as an extension of the work of art. I would say that this more antiquated and ornate gilded frame works much better for this impressionist piece and this more minimalistic clean sleek frame works much better for this geometric Mondrian. All right, so let's get into the color dimensions and First, I want to start off with warmth and coolness because it's very important to be able to distinguish, especially if you are one of the individuals who is in the middle of each season. So here we have four seasons that are dominated by hue temperature. We have true spring, which is warm, then bright, true autumn, which is warm, then soft, true winter, which is cool, then dark and true summer which is cool then soft so to illustrate this i took color swatches of the skin and hair very basic not very nuanced um, but i think it gets the point across so looking at the top row all warm coloring in both skin and hair we're seeing lots of golden yellow base tones, apricot, peach, almond. You can see that with the first swatch under each woman, that is the skin tone. And then with the hair, you see a lot of reddish, bronze, chestnut, you know, warm, toasty colors. So reds and toasty warm browns, more reds, warm browns, deep rich browns, and a beautiful kind of in-between. Now, oppositely with the cool seasons on the bottom, you see their skin has a much more bluish, pinkish tinge. Their notes of beige, blue-white, cool cocoa, and rose beige to their skin overall and with their hair you'll see more cool undertones of black silver ash brown and cocoa now let's put that into context by really comparing the color palettes because that is ultimately what we want to get to we want to get to the right set of colors to really enhance someone's natural coloring. And please remember, all of these color palettes are generalized. You really have to experiment and do your due diligence to find your favorite colors because obviously not everyone who falls into these certain categories are going to have the, you know, same best, favorite, most flattering colors. So again, generalizations. But back on topic, let's look at the palettes and appraise their warmth and coolness. So in the top row, we have spring 
and autumn you'll see there's a lot more of the warm basic hues of you know warm red yellow orange and warmer more yellow based green and there's less of the blue of the purples of the cooler pinks in these palettes oppositely looking at the bottom row with the cooler seasons you'll see a lot more of the blues the purples the blue greens and the cool pinks there are still some of the warmer colors like yellow in the cool seasons but they are cooler versions of yellow and if that confuses you please watch my first video where I show you the rainbow scale and hopefully that makes it much more clear. All right, so our next color dimension is value, lightness or darkness. So to illustrate this point, I thought it would be useful to show you grayscale versions of all of these women. So here up top with light spring, in light summer, looking at the grayscale, you see that their values are on the lighter side. There are not a lot of darker values in their coloring, not a lot of values that emphasize darkness. With an exception, we have Alicia Keys here. Um, she's an example of someone who has darker hair, but not everyone with darker hair is going to look best in the darker seasons. You have to look at overall coloring and again, drape. In this case, I would say pay more attention to the eyebrows, the skin, um, a little bit of the lashes, and really take into consideration what value range of colors looks best on the person. So again, with the light row, a lot of lighter values and oppositely, oppositely on the bottom here, we have the dark seasons, dark autumn and dark winter. You can see they have a lot more contrast and darker values overall. And again, to put this into context, here are the palettes for these light and dark seasons on the top row we have light spring and summer obviously a lot of higher value a lot of white coloring to these palettes and oppositely on the bottom a lot of darkness colors that have a lot more black to them now our last color dimension is chroma softness or mutedness so here we have up top the soft season soft autumn and soft summer on the bottom we have the bright seasons bright spring and bright winter to illustrate this point i thought swatches of hair and skin would also be the most useful so looking at the top row we see that their skin has this muted quality to it lower chroma as does their hair and their contrast overall is quite low oppositely with the brights here their skin and their hair has much higher chroma much stronger more intense coloring and their features tend to stand out more they have more of that clarity and brightness instead of mutedness this is very very apparent when you look at their color palette so with a soft autumn and soft summer you see the chroma is very low it's very hazy and muted a little bit more gray and oppositely with the bright seasons the chroma is very high the colors are clear and crisp so here is just a little visual flow chart so that you can see the transitions of the 12 seasons. Let's go over them, starting off with bright spring. Bright spring is bright first and foremost, and then it is warm. Then you transition to true spring, which is first and foremost warm. You're seeing so much of that 
golden or red tone, that peachy apricot tone, and you're still seeing that brightness, that clarity, that high chroma. Then you move on to light spring, which is light, and then warm. You're seeing a lot of light values, but still on the warmer side. Then you're moving on to light summer over here. Also lighter values, but cooler, and we're getting softer, more muted. Then we get to true summer. It's cool and then soft. Very cool colors in the skin tone and the hair. And then you're noticing that lower contrast, that mutedness, that softness. And then you get to soft summer over here, which is soft and then cool. You notice their muted qualities and then you notice that they lean on the cooler side. Back over here, we get to soft autumn, very soft. Then you notice there's more of that warmth to them, more of that kind of toasty, walnuty, bronze, golden tone. And then you get to true autumn, which is warm and then soft. You're seeing again that dominant warmth with the reds, the walnuts, the toasted cocos, the golds, the bronze, but you notice their coloring is more soft. It's a little bit lower in chroma, and then you're also noticing that their coloring tends to get darker. And then you go to dark autumn, which is first and foremost dark and then warm. You see they have high contrast, very dark values to their eyes and their hair and their brows, and then you finally get to dark winter, which a lot of um, people of color with darker hair tend to get um, assigned just because a lot of people assume they can only go by you know, physical characteristics, the most obvious ones like darker hair or darker skin, but that is not the case. So here we have dark winter, dark values, cooler skin tone. And then we get to true winter, which is cool. And then dark, we have that very silvery or rosy beige glow to the skin and the silvery or cocoa or raven hair color. And then we're getting brighter in coloring as well. And then we get to bright winter, which is bright. And then cool, high chroma, very, very strong colors in the hair and skin, but leaning on the cooler side. And here with the palettes, you can see the same kind of transition from bright spring all the way to bright winter. So again, please remember, it's very important to drape. You can't assume that all of these colors are going to look good on you um, in terms of picking a palette either. You really have to figure out what colors work for you and let's be realistic. You probably won't be able to find all of the colors of your palette in your desired style and budget and size. So, you know, let your color journey be, um, tinged with a bit of synchronicity if you like. Uh, just trust that you'll find the best colors for you and take your time. It takes time and effort and energy and money to really cultivate a wardrobe that harmonizes with not only your colors but with the rest of the items so that you can form a very cohesive outfits very easily. That is it for this video. If you need more help, again, visit my website, thealignlover.com. I have blog posts and I also offer services and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.